Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Faraz, I'm a third year medical student at the University of Cambridge. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about the UCAN Verbal Reasoning section. So first of all, why don't we start off with the basics. The UCAN VR section consists of 44 questions in just 21 minutes. That is less than half a minute per question. So as you guys can probably guess, timing is a major issue. Now personally for me, in the UCAT Verbal Reasoning section, I scored a score of 730, which is fairly decent. I think the main thing you guys can learn from me is that you don't need to focus on finishing every single question. I certainly did not answer every single question to the best of my ability, and that's okay. So that leads me on to my first tip about the UCAT VR section, which is triage the questions. And what this means is as soon as you see a passage of text, decide if it's a short passage, a medium passage, or a long passage. If it's a long passage, guess, flag it, and come back to it at the end if you have time. If it's medium and it looks relatively simple, do the question. If it's medium and it looks a bit more complicated, I'd say come back to it. And if it's a short, easy passage, just do the question. I think the general strategy you want to work with is in your first pass, aim to do as many questions as you can and get them all correct. Then if you have time at the end, come back to the questions that you thought were more difficult and then try and get them correct. What I think you should definitely not do is try and do all the questions and end up simply not answering questions. I mean, at the end of the day, the UCAT VR is multiple choice, so a couple of your guesses may be correct. And you definitely never ever ever want to leave multiple choice question completely unanswered. So my next tip for the UCAT verbal reasoning section is when you do decide to answer a question, read the question and answer options first, then skim through the passage for keywords. Don't bother reading every single word of the passage, rather aim to get the gist and find the information that you need to answer the question. I remember in my experience, a lot of the time, the question would refer to a specific part of the passage, so I'd make sure that you've skimmed all of the passage and then honed in on the relevant part to the question you're trying to answer. I think another really good way of preparing for the UCAT VR section is by practicing reading articles from scientific journals. So I remember one thing I did during my preparation was I would just go online, search up a scientific journal article, practice reading it as quickly as possible, say for example setting a 20 second timer, and then I try and summarize it to myself. I think if you can develop this skill early, it's a really useful skill to have for the UCAT, as these questions are essentially asking you to do that, then answer a multiple choice question. All in all, I'd say verbal reasoning is definitely a difficult section of the UCAT, but it's not impossible. The main three things I'd say are practice, having a good strategy, as I mentioned, which is triaging questions and reading the question first before deciding to read the text and answer the question. So yeah, there you have it. Those are my three top tips for scoring highly in the UCAT verbal reasoning section. I hope you guys found this video useful and if you're sitting in the BMAT or the UCAT this year, I would highly recommend subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.